assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am Odoo technical developer in today's video we are going to talk about how to add a status bar for our custom model which is uh, open academy dot course uh, let me explain how the status bar looks like so this is the sales order form view and here at the header section you will see quotation quotation sent and sales order so this is the status bar for the sales order and it is used to control like uh, the workflow of any specific system uh, for example if the quotation is uh, if the like this record is in quotation state it is considered like a quotation and you can make any changes but once you confirm it and it is moved to the sales order state then uh, you cannot edit it and you cannot make uh, some changes which which restrict the user so in like this thing we want to use for our um, open academy module and we want to add it so for this purpose the first step is to go to the python file and add a new field uh, with the name like state uh, so the name is not uh, like constant you can add any name for the status field so the field type should be selection and inside the selection we need to add uh, like what what are the status different status that we want to add for example in this uh, for this course model we want to add the status like draft in progress completed and uh, cancel so the first state is draft and this is like the first value for this uh, parameter is key and the second will be a string which will appear on the formula so the same way we will add uh, another state uh, which is uh, like in progress like this and its label uh, or you can say the string is uh, in progress and then the third state is completed and its string should be like this completed okay and then uh, the fourth state we want to add is cancel and if the string is cancel okay so um, these are the states uh, that we want to appear on the screen and uh, we can also pass some other parameters like a string of this uh, state field um, which is status and sorry we just moved to the last okay and we want to make it required true uh, we want to make it copy false uh, so i will discuss this later i will add like default uh, is equal to sorry default draft default parameter is used to uh, set the default value for any field you can use it for any of the above field but in this case i am defining the default value as draft because whenever i create a new record the default value for this state should be um, draft it it is possible to uh, assign the default value based on some condition which i will discuss in the uh, coming videos okay so these are the some parameters and now we need to go to the xml file and here uh, inside the form tag we need to add an other tag which is header so this uh, above section is uh, called header of the form view and inside it we need to add a field with the name uh, which is status and here we need to add a widget uh, which will make it a status bar like this status bar and close it okay so we need to restart Udo service and because we made changes in xml as well as in the python and then we need to upgrade uh, the module so after the module update we will uh, just refresh the page to see the changes okay so the module has been upgraded and let me refresh this page so when i refresh the page you will see okay you can see draft in progress completed and uh, cancel so now uh, like by default this uh, draft is uh, assigned because of this uh, draft because of this uh, default parameter if i want to like hide some status like i want to show some specific status on uh, the form view uh, this is also possible so here we can pass an other uh, parameter which is uh, status bar visible and here we can define the states which we want to just show on this form like uh, for example if i want to just show draft uh, completed and uh, sorry it should be like in progress and completed like this 
and I then just need to uh, upgrade the module okay click the upgrade button and so after the module upgrade let me refresh it so here you can see that cancel buttons uh, the cancel state is does not appear anymore because uh, we just want to show these uh, states so the cancel state will only appear if the record is in the cancel state so the same way you can hide any other and show the cancel states so this is uh, so far for the states and uh, now we need to discuss how we can uh, update these states uh, like move the states from one uh, from one value to the other so for this purpose we need to add some buttons in the header so in order to add the buttons we need to go to the header section and here we need to add a button tick and then we need to add the name so here we need to uh, specify the name so for example the first uh, the first button should move the state from draft to in progress so we can add the names like button uh in progress we can see like this in progress and we need to define the string uh which will be the label that appears um so you can say like uh, in progress okay and then we can add a class uh like in order to highlight the button we can add a class oe a highlight like this uh and does it so these are the few parameters and then we need to add this this is actually a python uh, function that we need to define here in this model uh, so like this and here we need to use the for loop for uh, like to go through each record uh, because we need to handle the scenario uh, you need to just uh, think about it like if this self can have multiple record set if yes then you you need to use uh, the for loop uh, because in this case if we add this button in the list view and we call the method from in the list view then there's a chance that there can be multiple records so therefore in order to avoid the singleton issue we will use the for loop so um, here we will just uh, add course dot write like to update the the value of the status field state field to uh, what is the next state where we want to move is in progress okay like we want to update this uh, the the value of the course uh, the co value of the state field to in progress okay so now we need to restart udo service and also update the module because um, we made changes both in xml and also uh, in python so upgrade the module okay module upgraded uh, let me refresh the page so here you see the the button is in progress uh, appears here here so if we click on this button it will move to the next state which is in progress or we got an error message so what this matter says uh course missing tab for two action request okay so we missed one thing so here we need to add a type for the button which is um uh, object in this case so uh there can be two types of uh, button like one is object another is action so if you if you want to call a method through a button you need to add the type of object but if you want to add an action like uh, an an actions for example this is uh, this is the action so if you want to call a, an action through a button you need to add the type as action so i will discuss in upcoming videos the action type so we added the type and then we need to appear the module because the change is in the xml and after this upgrade you will see it will work okay so refresh the page and here it is so if i click here you see the draft state updated into the in progress and the button still appear here so what i want to hear is to hide this button if the state is moved from draft, draft to in progress and and show me another button uh, which moves it to the completed state so for this purpose here i will add an other parameter which is uh, states and here in these states i can define like in which state i want to show this button so i want to show this button only in the draft state and then like it should it should be invisible in the other states okay but I want to add another button which makes it uh, to the completed state like this completed 
button completed and here i will uh, add the name of this button which like the string of the button is completed so in which state i want to show this button in i want to show it in progress state and it should hide in draft and completed state okay so for this purpose i will define here that it should only appear in uh, in progress state like this okay i need to add the python method uh, here in this uh, model also let me just duplicate it and change the name of the mm, method so here in the state i want to update the status from in progress to completed because this button is uh, to move the state to the completed i need to restart Udo service and then uh, need to upgrade the module because same thing the changes are both in xml and uh, in python okay so upgrade the module the module upgraded let me refresh the page and once the page is refreshed you will see a different button so here you can see the the in progress button is hidden and you can see the completed button so if i click on the completed button this will move to the completed state and the button disappears so why the button disappear because of this uh, status parameter in the xml that we added okay so another another button we need to we need here is to move it to the cancel state and also to move it in the draft state again so in order to make the workflow complete so for this purpose i need to add two buttons one is uh with the name button cancel and it should say here like cancel okay and this button should appear in uh, like in progress okay it should show in progress and in completed state okay mm, so we want to show this uh, button like to the user in these both states like if the state is if the the course is in progress and in com incomplete state we should be able to cancel it so we need to show the button in these two states and this uh, draft button button draft and reset to draft this button should only show in cancel state okay because in other states we don't want to move the record to the cancels uh, to the draft state so for we need to add methods for these two uh, buttons so button cancel needs to move uh, the state to the cancel and button uh, draft should update the value to the draft state like this okay so let me do the same like restart Udo service and then upgrade the module okay go to apps and click the upgrade button to upgrade it so module upgraded and let me refresh the page okay so you can see like we have the cancel button uh in the completed state so the cancel button will appear in cancel and in progress in completed and in progress state so if i click cancel it moved to the cancel state so it moved to the cancel state and the cancel state does appear now because this record is in the cancel state if we click on the reset to draft it will move to the draft state again so the whole workflow is completed you now and these are the these simple steps that you can follow now we need to uh, discuss about the copy so let me uh, let so let me show you the problems for example if i move it to the in progress and completed state and if i want to duplicate this record if i like uh, okay so there is a problem in this uh, in, in this like we have added a restriction here that the description and uh, course name cannot be the same so therefore we cannot duplicate this record i will discuss this point in the uh, next video because i need to cover like how we can activate this duplicate option and how we can use the copy function um, to to make to assign a different value to the, to the name so uh, in order to uh, disc in order to explain it in detail uh, i will record a separate video on this topic so if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you